Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for coming back. It's been a long time since I've uh, made a tutorial. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I welcome all new people and all the subscribers that I've got. Uh, hopefully, this will be a fun tutorial for all of us, and we can have some have some laughs doing it. Alrighty. What we're going to go over today is how to make a bubble brush, a leaf brush, and a snowflake brush. Uh, they're actually pretty easy, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, start off making the brush and then I'll show you how to use the brush uh, dynamics to really make some cool effects okay so I'm gonna do a file new 500 500 120 if you're a regular subscriber of mine you know that's usually what I start out with <clears throat> okay so we'll do that and let us fill that with black I'm just doing this so we can see what we're doing uh, no big big thing it's usually easy if we're gonna make a brush we need to, to uh, create the brush and it's going to be black on white so we'll invert it later on anyways okay so we got that and let's create a new layer and on this new layer I am going to do the uh, circle shape uh, hold down the shift key uh, make your circle size uh, the shift key so it constrains it to a perfect circle let's adjust to get it kind of centered here there we go and now this one on this new layer I'm going to fill that with black as well okay here's a cool little trick I learned it uh, on the internet or was it another tutorial I can't think of which but it's actually really easy it works really good okay so now that I've got in this black I'm going to do a filter render lens flare okay let's do the 35 millimeter this is kinda of sweet how this works I, I saw this trick and I thought hey man this is really cool okay so there's my lens flare right there <clears throat> alrighty so now I'm going to do a uh, a sphere eyes to uh, stretch that out and give it a bubble look so filter uh, distort sphere eyes okay you can't really tell it in the little thing here but it's gonna sphere eyes some okay but I'm going to repeat that sphere eyes some so let's do control F F there we go okay that looks kinda cool alrighty so now that I've got that I will select deselect okay now that I've got this spherized I'm going to do a filter blur Gaussian blur okay I wanna blur that out that actually looks really cool as a color bubble can you see that that looks neat okay so now that I I just uh, deselected I should still have the same shape so I can do a select reselect okay now you can see where it's blurred outside the area so what I'm gonna do is do a select inverse so now I've got the outside area selected all I gotta do is hit the delete key boom and that sharpens it up now do select deselect now I got a nice sharp bubble but I still need to define a, an outside just a slight little little border around the outside of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge visible so I've got the black background with the bubble on top now I need to do an image adjust desaturate okay there we go now I've, you can see the bubble a little better now but it still needs that outline to give it a, a slightly bubbly effect okay so I'm going to select reselect again and the circle should still be there there we go now I'm going to do an edit oh wait a second before I do that I have to switch to the white okay edit where is it <laughs> I'm drawing a brain fart here stroke there we go stroke I'm gonna do one pix I want to do it on the outside I could do it center eh, outside center doesn't really matter let's try center what the heck uh, opacity about mm, let's make it a little more let's make it about uh, 45 percent okay now select deselect again there you go now see there's a fine white line I want to do just a very very light Gaussian blur on this so blur Gaussian blur now I'm going to do the the amount of Gaussian blur just very little I just wanna just wanna soften that that line up just a touch just a touch there you go I sound like Bob Ross what do you say we get a little crazy here okay there we go that's good so now there's our basic bubble shape with the highlights and the circle around it but now what we need to do is is make it for a brush which is black on white because obviously we're gonna be painting and we don't want to do it this way so if that makes any sense so do an image <coughs> 
adjust, invert, there you go. Black on white. Okay. I'm also going to change the size slightly on this. So image, uh, image size, and see I had it at 500. I want to get this down to like, uh, I don't know, 200, something like that. 200 by 200. Because if you have an absolutely ginormous brush when you create a brush, it um it it just the first time you start it it's huge you know you put it on the screen when you're doing something and like the brush goes off the side of the screen so we don't need to do that okay then all you have to do is edit define brush preset and you can name the brush I'll call it brush or I mean we'll call it bubble b u b b l e I can spell English very goodly bubble two okie dokie there you go. Now all I have to do is when I'm doing like say my brushes or whatever, there's the bubble that I just made. See? It's brush 2. Now I already had one pre-made. We can use this one as well. Either way. Okay? So I've got that brush preset now. Let's create a new file so we can see what this bubble looks like. You can you can fiddle around with this, change it around any way you want. That's just the quickest way to get like a highlight and a round circular bubble shape. Okay, so let's do new file 500 500 of course, you know me, let's make the background black. This is just so we can see the new bubble we made. Change to white, use the brush, now see that it's like super huge. Actually, I'm going to change back to that brush that this is a previously made bubble, that other one I made too quick. Okay, this one, I got that one, there we go. Okay, let's make it a little smaller. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer to work on, there we go bubble. Sweet! Look at that bubble, boink. But the problem is is we still now have the brush um, properties. See it's doing it in a line like a regular just a plain old brush. Okay, so let's change some of the brush dynamics. This is the sweet part. Okay, shape dynamics. We can do size jitter. It'll change from big to little. There we go. So let's go size jitter 100%. Minimum diameter, let's get it really low. So it'll go from little to big. Angle jitter. This I want to keep all the same because the bubbles are going to have light source coming from the same side, so we don't want to angle them any. The roundness jitter, we want those to be completely round. Uh, flip on or off, you don't you want that off on bubbles because everything is coming from the same side. Okay. Scattering. We can scatter it really big or really small. See how it makes them come together when the scattering is low, and then when the scattering is high, they go way apart. That's kind of cool. Count. More bubbles, less bubbles. You get the idea. Okay. Now let's see what that looks like. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look at all those different bubbles it's making. Then when you run the brush and hold it down, wow. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is sweet. Okay. That is really cool. Anyway. Okay. So now we got that. Now let's try another brush. Okay, let me create a new level to a layer to work on. Uh, leaves. Uh, this is good if you're doing like a lot of foliage or something like that. Uh, let's look at the brushes I've got up here. I made a preset brush that was just a brush shape. It's just black on white, so it's just a brush shape. There you go. Okay. There's the brush shape. Bam. Okay. But leaves aren't going to be lined up like bubbles are. They're not going to all go the same the same way. See like that? So let's change some of the brush dynamics on the leaf. <clears throat> okay. So the leaf shape dynamics. We want the size jitter. We want it to be different sizes. But with leaves they're going to be similar size. We don't want too many little and too many big. Okay. Minimum diameter. We want them to be similar size. Angle jitter. This is going to change a little bit for the leaves because all leaves don't go the same direction. Can you see what that's doing? It's making them go different directions. Round this jitter. You want to change that a little bit because obviously leaves aren't going to be pointing the same direction as you're looking at them. Flip. Obviously leaves are going to be going in different directions as well, so you can flip them. Scattering. Same thing. Uh, when I'm doing leaves, I bring the scattering in a little bit. Okay. Now here we go. Boom, 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 boom. See that's doing that. We still don't have something right here, so let's try the leaf again. So we got the shape dynamics. What do we got here? Shape dynamics, size jitter. There we go. And the minimum diameter. There we go. Let's see if that works. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now here's the cool part color dynamics. If you get one color, a green and a white, 
it's going to do different shades of green. Sweet! Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay. But then, here's the other cool part. If you take a different shade of green, see, if you do green and white, it's just going to do shades of that one green. If you do two colors of green, it'll do even better. And then, if you're doing fall stuff, one yellow, one orange, fall leaves pretty. Isn't that cool? That is neat. I really like that. Okay. Then all you have to do is just adjust your brush size, uh, different sizes, scatterings, you know, however you want to do it. Make a tighter bunch, do the uh, the scattering smaller, uh, you know, or larger. Uh, you can do different types of leaves, ivy leaves, oak leaves, maple leaves, whatever. The, the thing is, though, to use a solid shape because if you don't, these leaves are going to overlap and you're going to get color it's hard to explain the uh, the colors will cross over each other and it does some weird things you want it to look solid because if you're doing a tree from far away anyways you're not really going to be noticing details on the leaves okay that's that one <clears throat> okay one more since we were talking about uh, bubbles leaves and snowflakes again here this is in the uh, defined uh, brushes that come with uh, Photoshop uh, there is a snowflake brush there we go okay snowflake brush that's nice again oop I think we want white on this don't we white I don't remember seeing too many orange snowflakes there we go <laughs> there see now it's doing a row again so we don't want to do that so we're gonna uh, change the brush dynamics okay shape size jitter we want to keep them all fairly small unless you're doing some weird kind of thing minimum diameter adjust that angle jitter that's the ro the way it rotates uh, around this jitter. I think that one is, yeah, that's the thing that I was wondering about, around this jitter. Because when you're looking at snowflakes, see how that's adjusting their, you know, because snowflakes are flat, so it's going to be scattering them all around. Okay, scattering, that's what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there, see how it scatters them all around? Let's change the scattering so it makes them way far away. There we go. Sweet! Isn't that cool? Let's try the uh, shape dynamics again. Let's make some of these a little bigger. There we go. Alrighty. Now I feel like uh, I'm down in Whoville. Da who do raise da who. Come on, say it with me. Welcome Christmas, Chris. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> oh, say it with me. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. Somebody in the. Uh, uh, re replies, tell me. It came without ribbons, it came without bags, it came without what, what, and what. You can let me know. Okay. So I hope that helped a little bit. That was kind of interesting. We did some snowflakes and some leaves and some bubbles and all that good stuff. So uh, once again, this was uh, Chris with CCG Sales. I hope you enjoyed these brushes and I look forward to making some more tutorials for you in the future. Uh, once again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. And we will see you in the near future. Thanks and have a great day.